this grocery haul looks a little crazy. You want something? Go get it. Period. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We went to three stores this week. We usually go to more, so I'm a little shocked by that. Sam's Club, Walmart, and of course, Aldi has been coming through for us since it's open. So let me take you down to the counter, show you what we got from all the places, and show you a little bit of the crazy this week. First stop this week, our trusty Aldi. I love me some freaking Aldi. And our total today was $54.58. I didn't get a ton there. Y'all know what I do is I put things in my Walmart app and while I'm in Aldi, I shop my Walmart list. And if it's cheaper at Aldi, I take it off my Walmart list. If it's cheaper at Walmart, I leave it. And then I do a pickup. That way I'm getting the best prices at all the places, if that makes sense. You gotta shop smart, y'all. Their Cosmic Crisp Apples were on sale for $2.99. These are my favorite. We got the Pink Ladies last time and they just don't hold up, okay? We ate them but they just don't taste the same. And they were looking pretty horrible, I have to say. They only had like five bags. This looked the best one. So I snagged it for myself and the boys have been loving it too. Hot dogs were cheaper at Aldi than they were at Walmart. And if my voice is sounding weird, guys, allergies are legit whipping your girl's booty, okay? The pollen is like blankets around here. Hot dogs for Waylon, he's been on a hot dog kit. Y'all know I love the classic white. It has went back up, I think to 129 versus a dollar, but I'll pay it because we love how substantial it is and just tastes so good. Y'all, I'm happy to report eggs have come down in price. They were a cheaper, a penny cheaper than at Walmart, but Walmart is comparable to the eggs now. Comparable, again, I can't talk. So just letting you guys know, if you haven't noticed yet, eggs have come down. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Almond milk for my coffee. Egg whites, though, have gone up. The ones at Walmart have gone up like 86 cents. So now regular eggs have gone down. Egg whites are going up. I mean, we can't win here. I got two packages of the Mood Tubes for the boys' lunches. They're gonna be happy. They love this cotton candy and melon berry combo and they haven't had that in a while so they'll be happy to see it i saw this turkey kielbasa over on nikki gets fit on her grocery haul and i did not know they had turkey sausage over there and the macros are fire it's 90 calories for two ounces and eight grams of protein so i got that just to stick into the freezer i already have some on hand but just to have like lunch bowls or if we wanted to make red beans and rice whatever it's a good option and I know they have it all the time but I think that's the first time I've seen it so thanks Nikki for that tip I did get some more of the mini peppers for Trey he is loving these cut up and dipped with ranch and the same with the grape tomatoes I've been buying one every week for him he is loving the veggies and if I can pump veggies and fruit in my kids versus anything else your girl's doing it speaking of better choices the hubby asked me to pick him up a cheese tray because when he gets home he is a snacker and a sweet tooth person through and through and it's been catching up with him and I'm not ever going to tell him anything so you know and that's with anybody you've got to make the change yourself and you've got to like see it for yourself versus somebody telling you to actually follow through with it and he's like um I need to you know make some better swaps I've gotten back into a hole and I need to dig myself out and he loves this cheese tray from any place versus him eating like candy and crap. So I was like, okay, I'll pick the one up from Aldi. It comes with Pepper Jack, Colby Jack, Swiss, and cheddar, one pound for the price popping up. It was cheaper than Walmart. The one at Sam's is a better deal, but we didn't need that much, if that makes sense. I just got one turkey pepperoni. We have something on hand where I need it. I've got two in the pantry, but Trey eats that like crazy, so just wanted to head and have it. Last week when I went to Aldi, they were out of the turkey, so that's something I pick up if I see it. The Mama Cozy's Rising Crust, this is comparable to the one that we get from Walmart and now these are cheaper than the Walmart ones and we are going to the movies tomorrow to go see the new Creed 3. We love all the Rocky Creed movies so we are going on like an adult night movie night with the fam so y'all know what that's about. That's for the boys while mama watches them. I did get some Dijon mustard was cheaper at Aldi. I need that for a recipe and I'm out and I also already have the Aldi version of the everything bagel seasoning and I like it and I have only a little bit left and it's definitely cheaper over there. Speaking of last week I mentioned I couldn't find the Greek yogurt at 
Sam's and at Aldi, but they had it today and it's definitely cheaper and I'm doing a recipe where I need a lot of it. I go through a lot of plain Greek yogurt, not only for recipes, but I make yogurt bowls and I add all the yumminess in it. Haven't seen cinnamon rolls at my Aldi in weeks and they had a ton, so I picked up two just to have for the boys for the weekend. And I did get two treats to try out. This is the St. Patrick's Day ice cream they had and they're only $1.99 a pint, which is awesome. Y'all know I love my shamrockin' American Dream Nut Butter and look at this, shamrockin' swirl, mint ice cream with yellow fudge chips and cocoa cookie crumble swirls like Oreos, come on. Um, not macro friendly at all, but what I've done with these Aldi ones is we all like take a bite and taste test it and then someone finishes off pretty much. And then I know the hubby's gonna love this one, but speaking of trying to make better choices and your girl's bringing this in for him, he's gonna kill me. The Lucky uh, Cookie Dough, it is cookie dough flavored ice cream with yellow fudge chips and green star shaped sugar cookie dough, artificial flavors added, yay. And we've got that to try out and need to put them in the freezer. So that is everything we got today. And my voice is sounding so cray. I apologize for what? I said 54, 55 bucks. $83 Sam's Club drive up. That doesn't include an item, but still, holy smokes. <laughs> and $104 at the Walmart grocery pickup. I will explain a lot of the ish that's going on with this grocery haul. It's a little a little weird and random for me. I got some of the Banderita Carb Counter Street Tacos. Y'all know we love these trays. Big fan. He flies through them more than anybody, but I have something on plan next week that I needed them and we only have a few left. Love these. If you are in a calorie deficit, guys, they are just 20 calories a serving. And for my keto peeps, they are zero net carbs, just saying, but they're delicious. They taste like the real deal. I did get an English cucumber. I just threw it in cart because it was like only 98 cents. And I love cucumbers and that Olive Garden light Italian dressing. Haven't had that in a while. I said that might be a good side option for lunch. One avocado, been loving it on all the things this week for lunches, so wanted to have one on hand. A head of lettuce for something next week. I think the Mexican food dish we're having for Taco Tuesday. Bananas, they gotta be organic, and I'm glad that they're green, but hopefully they'll be like uh, good enough for us to start eating, because these do not spoil, I swear. There's like something going on with it, but I'm here for it. I did get a little small package of the Great Value Thin Sliced Roast Beef. This is only seven ounces. The hubby requested some lunch meat other than ham, so that's why I got that for him. And then Waylon loves the banana yogurt, y'all know, and they were out of the great value, or I totally would have got that because it's half the price, but they were sold out, it said anyway on the app. So I got two of the banana cream by Light and Fit and also two of the banana from Oikos to see if he likes those. Got some ricotta cheese, the skim milk one for a recipe. I think we're making a baked spaghetti next week by Paula Dean. I've made one from Elise Ellis before, but I want to try this one because it's, it's pretty comparable and it's got a lot of the real deal stuff in it. So I'm excited, but I need a whole container of this. And the one at Aldi was way more calories for the skim. I think it was 90 for the same stuff. So unless Walmart stuff is off, but you know how it goes as far as packaging. I did get the great value at low fat cottage cheese. They don't have the low fat at my Aldi anyway. It's just the 4% and I've been loving this on toast with bacon and a fried egg. It's been so good. 80 calories for a half a cup bomb. You can do so many things with cottage cheese. I know a lot of y'all don't like it, but you don't have to eat it straight up. There's so many things you can do with it and it's super high protein, high volume. Have y'all seen the new packaging with the laughing cow wedges? I went to go put my stuff in my app and all the ones that I previously ordered, it said out of stock and they had all these new ones. And what is pretty cool is that the macros have changed. So instead of them being 30 calories a wedge, now they're just 25. Oh, I'm here for it, here for it. Hopefully the packaging, y'all know the stuff is right, the nutrition facts, but all of them are now 25 calories. If you're getting the light, we got the creamy garlic and herb to make some mock lightened up garlic bread this week for sides. A lot of y'all asked me if we enjoyed the queso blanco, the great value one. It's not as thick as the Target one and it's not as pungent in flavor, I will say, but it's damn good. Like it's damn good for $2.12. We drizzled it all over the pot roast fries I made last week and I'm almost out and we're still eating on the pot roast. So I figured that I go ahead and put another one in a cart and I've also eaten it with some carrot chips and it's pretty good. So I recommend it. I'm doing some kind of like TikTok lunch next week that I saw somebody use these packets to make like a Southwest wrap or something. And they put an entire one of these great value premium white chicken fajita flavored sauce. It's 12 grams of protein and 70 calories for the package. 
Of course, it's better just to use regular chicken and like meal prep and stuff, but for convenience, I got four of them for four lunches next week. Speaking of lunches, y'all know I throw these in cart because on my rest days, I've been eating a whole bag of this and a can of tuna and it has been chef's kiss. Don't knock it till you try it. I really like the broccoli and cheese sauce. It's probably my favorite and it's only 130 calories for the entire freaking bag. I have not tried the broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower and it is 120 calories a bag and six grams of protein for the entire bag, guys. So these are awesome like cutting hacks. If you're in a calorie deficit, you want high volume, you want to get full, you want to feel satisfied, you don't want to feel like uh, you're ready for your next meal after you just ate, these are some hacks to do. Now, I have not seen this before, but I'm so stoked for it. I was looking to get the great value cups. Y'all know we get all the time. They're 100 calories. These are like twice the price, but they're chocolate sundae and strawberry sundae cups. So you got a little bit of swirlage going on in there here for it. And look at this, y'all. They are just... 90 calories a cup, 10 calories less, let's go. So I have something on plan that I needed some ice cream for, and I was like, hey, let's try it out. So I'm excited about that. Not happy about the price tag, but you know it is what it is. Coming back down here, I got some sesame seeds. I add this to my Big Mac bowl that is now on my YouTube channel in a short, so go and check it out. It's super good, and I also use this on fried rice and stuff like that. When we make it, I go through a lot of it. Speaking of that baked spaghetti, I just got a plain package of the thin spaghetti by Great Value. I'm going to do a video like an eat this, not that on if you should just buy the plain Jane 98 cent stuff or if you should spend the money on the more expensive stuff. We'll talk about it then. This is a product right here, okay? This is a product when your period's coming in a couple of days and you are adding ish to your app late at night and you're starting to get hungry. That's what this is about, okay? Don't come for me. This is planned though. The banana cream sugar-free pudding mix. I'm gonna be making some high protein banana pudding with like your, you can use a fair life shake. I'm gonna use the pure protein, I think is the vanilla ones I have on hand. So I'm gonna play around with that. I'll let you guys know what I think. And I got this because I think I saw, I mean, I need to get off of TikTok, okay? Because they'd be making me buy. Not just grocery stuff, but like makeup stuff, everything under the sun. I need to delete the damn app. Keebler Graham mini pie crust. You get six in here and wait for it, wait for it. A hundred calories for one. Now what you could do is you could put some whipped cream in this and add some toppings beyond your merry way. If you wanted to amp up the protein, put some vanilla yogurt in there, some toppings and have like a little pie, the sugar-free cherry pie filling, apple filling. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this. I just wanted to have it on hand when I'm like, I switch up my dessert options often. Like I'll have everything plugged in, but depending on what I'm feeling for dessert, I might switch it up. So that's a switch up little staple right there. I was craving Lucky Charms like nobody's business. And I used to love me some Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes and Cinnamon Toast Crunch were my ish when I was back in the day, 230 pounds, like let's go. But I was craving some freaking Lucky Charms for some reason, I'm like, what is going on? I was craving marshmallows basically. But I saw these treat bars and I also saw these and I was like, man, it would be so awesome if they had a combo. And lo and behold, like General Mills, you read in my mind, you had the 28 bar combo, 14 of the Lucky Charm and 14 of the Golden Graham treats. I mean, oh my God, the s'mores, don't they look good? And look at this. 100 calories for a Lucky Charms bar, and they look pretty good size, and 120 calories for the Golden Graham. So I'm gonna have this as a dessert option. You know the boys will tear that up too, but I'm gonna try to hide it from them. I'm also gonna try to hide this new Lucky Charms s'mores flavor for St. Patrick's Day, the family size. I also got a 50 cent Ibotta rebate for this on all Lucky Charms, which is nice. I have all the information for our Ibotta link down below, guys. It's great to get cash back on things you're purchasing anyway, or things that you know that you will use and you can get Get, like a big ch chunk of money back for but macros with m over on instagram she just bought this and she likes to add cereal to yogurt bowls and that's where i originally got that idea so thank you emma from macros from m she said this was life-changing and everybody needed to try it so i trust her judgment almost every time she makes something it is good whatever she's putting on it and i will just put a little bit on not a whole serving a serving is 140 calories and not putting a whole cup so if you weigh it out by the gram it's a great like yogurt topper 
and I know the boys will probably steal that from me, but that's what that's about. Speaking of Ibotta, they had a dollar back rebate for any of these two cups of these instant rices. It had to be the jalapeno rice and like the whatever basmati, and they didn't have those at my store. And you could do it up to five times, but I didn't know if we'd like these. So I got two of them. They were a buck ninety, so I only paid ninety cents for them after my rebate. And I already got my rebate back, which is awesome. And they are jalapeno rice cups. They're two hundred calories a cup, three grams of protein basically a carb source, but I thought that might be good with like some chicken or something, or even as a side for a taco Tuesday night, if we've got the room and the macros. Got a recipe that calls, I think it's the baked spaghetti that calls for a lot of the grated Parmesan cheese. I have a little bit left. This was actually a better deal than getting the name brand at Sam's. So I got the big 16, one pound at great value for Walmart. Also, we're switching over to Heinz, the no sugar added. It is five calories more than the G Hughes. But let me tell you, G Hughes, he's thinking he's G money or something. Y'all, his prices have gone up so much on his stuff. I don't know what is going on, but I was like, I cannot. And also, have y'all noticed that the ketchup from G Hughes, it has gotten hella runny. It is so runny. I don't know, the last bottle we had, it was like water. And it wasn't like that before. And I was like, ooh, I don't really like the consistency anymore. And when I saw the price tag, when I needed some, when I was adding stuff to cart, I was like, mm, hex to the no G Hughes. So we switching over to the Heinz and it's, it's cheaper. This is a one pound, 13.5 ounce or something. No, 29.5 ounces. I'm reading the, the fine print and your girl can't be reading all that. So I'm gonna let you know what we think about it, but five more calories and the price difference and it's not it's sit this is a thick ketchup g hughes he's like putting we're paying for water at this point i think that's what he's ripping us off it's a scam y'all know i love me some g hughes but i can't be dealing with that i got some organic a great value apple cider vinegar with the mother is the one that you want to get and we have none on hand i needed it for a recipe the other day and i didn't have any i was like what what do i not have any for and also the hubby wanted some for some reason and i didn't have any so that's what that's about and it was cheaper to get it at walmart than it was at aldi by like two cents and then i did throw in this white rice boil in a bag you get four bags in here and it was like a dollar or something just to have we don't eat rice often so i don't like making the rice if that makes sense since we don't eat it we don't eat a big quantity of it and i actually use this back in the day when i was you know just maintaining my weight and we liked it. So I'm going to have that in the pantry. My girl Sammy over from Managing the Maze. Love her channel, guys. Go and check her out. We're going to be doing a collab soon. She did like a chicken what's for dinner video. And she had these Italian green beans on the side. And I was like, those look freaking bomb by Margaret Holmes. And the calories on them are 35 calories for half of a cup. So instead of using regular green beans, y'all know we like our green beans. We're going to try those and see how we like it. So thank you, Sammy, for that suggestion. Two cans of the Del Monte No Sugar Added Sliced Peaches. I love these guys. It's just 25 calories for a serving, and the serving is huge. You're going to love them. They taste delicious. And then I also got some diced potatoes. I was watching a video, and someone said that they love putting these like in the air fryer, adding them to green beans and stuff. It's just a good pantry staple. 60 calories for two-thirds of a cup, and they're cheap, so I threw that in cart. Got a six pack of the like 16 point whatever ounce Sprite Zero. I haven't had Sprite Zero in forever. And again, you know, the amp, amp flow's coming. <laughs> the shark's coming, all the feels. And I was like, ooh, I want this, I want that. So that's why that went in cart. It was on a rollback, so no biggie. The Sun Kiss Orange was on a rollback. This is mainly for the hubs. That is his favorite zero sugar drink. He gets that more than me now. So that's what we got at Walmart. I know random, like crazy when you're at night hungry and the sharks coming haul okay so that's what that's about no more explanation sam's club 84 dollars or 83 dollars i have two packs of the big la banderita carb counter coming the 45 calorie ones they are way cheaper over there at sam's but they don't have them in my club so i always get them shipped so they're coming and that's included in the 83 dollar price look at this guys they i don't i've never seen this at my sam's club anyway y'all know i love the camellia brand kidney red beans and i saw this big four pounder and i was like we just bought the great value ones but again this isn't going to go bad we eat red beans often i said let's go ahead and throw it in cart it equated to be almost the same price as the great value ones so i'm like dang that is like really cheap over at sam's 
So that's what that, this big old camellia thing is about. So if you're local and you like the camellia just like we do, go check out your Sam's Club. We have a little bit of honey left. I love this Carmichael's. It is Louisiana honey. When you buy honey, you want to get anything local. It's going to be the most purest if you're buying from a store rather than from like a person that sells it. So we love this Carmichael's one. It's like $15, guys, but it's 40 ounces. And I think I bought that other one. It's probably lasted us over a year. And I still have a little bit left, but I need it for a recipe. But I like drizzling this on stuff too. Delish. And then I haven't had these in a while. Y'all know these came last year. The Members Mark Pineapple Spears and the Coconut Water. You get 42 ounces in here. Again, I saw it. I was like, ooh, that sounds good. I'm, I'm craving everything, y'all. It's a problem. Do y'all have every, all the cravings under the sun, especially when you're grocery shopping when the shark's about to come? I know I can't be the only one. 90 calories for a half a cup. And let me tell you, that's like a spear and a half when I've measured it out in the past. Super good. So I'm looking forward to having that as a fresh carb source. Got a big case of the sparkling Members Mark water. You get the peach nectar, black raspberry, strawberry lemonade. We've been out. This is for the hubby. This is for me and Trey. Y'all know every week we get a case of the Fairlife chocolate is the only flavor they sell by me. I wish they had the caramel. Y'all are lucky if you have a Costco and you can get the caramel ones because they are fire. But I hate that these have gone up $2 in price, but we absolutely love them. So we always get those every week. And then Trey is almost out of his diced peaches. He was loving these ones and 100% fruit juice. You get 24 cups in here, BPA free, all the good stuff. And I know it's upside down, but that's 70 calories a cup. So if you're in a cutting phase, these are also good to have for you as well. And he takes like one or two of these every day for afternoon snacks. So we fly through them. So that's Sam's Club, Walmart. I will probably run into Rouse's. They have a killer deal on strawberries this week and a couple other things. So you may so see that. That's going to do it for this week's grocery haul. If you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up before you leave. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you love these videos. If you are new, of course, I'd love to have you. So make sure you hit all the bells down below. Hope these videos are helpful in letting you know what's out there as far as macro friendly, high protein foods, and a little bit of indulgence this week, right? Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week. And we'll see you next week with an awesome, fun collab grocery haul. Don't want to miss it.